BMW IBSF Skeleton World Championships in Alteburg rounding out with a unique team competition for the first time only skeleton athletes. First up to give us a clue of what was to happen, Italy's Valentino Margaglio paired with Mattia Gaspari. Margaglio with a good start and a clean run down the fast ice, quicker than she'd been all the way through the championships. For her teammate Mattia Gaspari, it was another test of his repaired Achilles tendon. He only started running back in October, and now in the World Championships, he laid down his fastest run of the competition as well. But how would they stack up? Well, they had overtaken their own teammates by the time the third starting lineup came up. Madeline Smith of Great Britain and her young teammate Matt Weston. After disappointing first day, Maddie Smith recovered in the second day of the World Championships and again a personal best allowed her to give Matt Weston a chance of catching the Italians. 300s behind but a mistake out of corner 14 cost them the lead and at the line they were 300s back. The second of the Chinese teams had fallen by the wayside by the time Canada's Jane Channel came to the line. After an electrifying start, the Canadian flew down the track comfortably half a second quicker than she'd managed throughout the competition. Her teammate Dave Grecheshin, the oldest man in the contest, had torn a bicep on his pushing arm a few weeks earlier and is due to undergo surgery next week, but he managed to hang on and they had a handy lead. The Canadians would stay in the leader's box for much of the competition, but surely the world champions and track record holders Tina Herman and Christopher Grothair would beat them. Herman, a second back at the line, showed that she couldn't find the magic pace that won her the gold. But what about Christopher Grothair, the men's gold medalist, also a track record holder from this weekend? He closed the gap, but it was never looking like he was going to be quite fast enough. The Canadians threw the sunshine squinting as the German team came up short. The final threat to Canada came from the second German team, Jacqueline Lerling, who finished in fifth place in the women's competition, and Alexander Gassner, the bronze medalist in the men's. Lerling brought the gap back down. From six tenths at the line, 56 hundreds, it still looked like a mountain to climb. Alexander Gassner had been the bronze medalist five hundredths of a second out of gold in the men's competition and it looked as though the gap was going to be equally tiny here. Incredibly, the Germans grabbed victory by the smallest measurable margin, one hundredth of a second. Gold medalists, Germany two, Jacqueline Lerling and Alexander Gassner. It's a silver for Jane Channel and Dave Chris Cheshin and a remarkable bronze for Italy's Valentina Margaglio and Mattia Gaspari.